Welcome into day two of seven days of holiday beauty. I'm really glad you're here. I'm Kimberly and this is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. All Christmas week long, it's seven days of holiday beauty and I'm doing a get ready with me every single day. I'll be featuring a new palette and new makeup in every single video and I hope you can join me for this fun and festive week. If you're new here, a very special welcome to you. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have a wonderful selection of makeup to share today and an exciting new palette that I can't wait to dive into. As always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below and they'll also be over on the blog so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's get into day two of seven days of holiday beauty. Skincare is done, sunscreen is on, and today I'm gonna to use the Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss to keep my lips hydrated while I'm doing the makeup. This is in the color Claire. It's a pretty pink, but it has a little bit of sparkle in it, so I'm not sure that's quite my favorite. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Milani. And for face primer, I'm using the Pixi by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. I've used this a few times before, and I actually really do like it. It comes out in more of a thick cream, and I feel like it does do a good job of kind of filling in my pores and making my skin look a little more even. While those primers are setting down, I'm gonna be doing my brows, and I'm using my all-time favorite. This is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. You guys have seen this a million times. Today I'm using Ash Brown. I'm really kind of excited about the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using today. This is from Too Faced, and this is their Enchanted Dream Palette. It's really a beautiful, very warm, neutral palette, really leaning heavily on the pinks, and I so that's why I'm wearing the pink sweater today. I really do like a pink eye look. I think it does work for us ladies that have brown eyes. I think it can work for other eye colors as well. So I'm gonna be putting together a soft pink look today and included in this palette are some blushes. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna start off with this color Caroling and that's going to go right above my natural crease just to kind of soften up that area and get some color started. I haven't used the Too Faced shadow formula before. At least I don't think I have. I can't remember if I did or not, which makes me think that I have it. And this is just a really soft pinky neutral. Now I'm gonna go in and darken up that crease area and dip into this color called No Peaking. It's a neutral with a deeper pink shift and that's gonna go right inside the crease. And I'm gonna bring that down a little bit onto the lower lid, just on the outside third. This has a little bit more peach tone to it. Now I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend that out. I really am such a big fan of a peach or pink toned eyeshadow look. I just think they're just so soft and pretty. So far these shadows are going on really smoothly. They're blending out great. Zero fallout so far. Now I'm going to get a little bit bolder and I'm going to use this color wrapping paper right up here and that's going to go over the movable lid almost down to the inner corner. So let's see what kind of pigment this shadow has. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty color. It's a very, very light pink, and it looks to be almost a satin finish. Isn't that pretty? This shadow formula is really nice. I know that this Enchanted collection was the holiday collection from Too Faced, and this particular one is just one, I think, of three different collections that they released. And I do think that you can also buy the whole Enchanted collection in a big, big set. Now I'm gonna go in with that blending brush again and just blend that in. I wanna deepen up the outside edge, so I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this color Scrooge, and that's gonna go right on the outside third of my movable lid and up into the crease, kind of giving me a lift on the outside edge of my eye. So just really lightly, I'm gonna bring that up, and then I like to bring it up just a little bit and then I'm going to blend that in so it kind of gives a lifted look out towards that corner of my eye. And then just blend that in. And I don't want to move the color very much. I want to keep it right in that area. I just want to soften the edges up. We might as well go full on with the pink. I'm going to dip my finger into this color. It's called 
Cool Yule. And oh, where do you see this color? It is so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm going to tap that right on the middle of my eyelid. And this is almost acting like just a shadow topper. It does have a little bit of sparkle in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is giving a pretty look. Now I'm going to take a small detail brush and dip it into this cream color right here. This is first day of Christmas and that's going to go right in the inside corner of my eye. And I'm going to bring it into this area right here where I can get a lot of shadowing because my eyes have creases in there and it really does create a darker look on the inside of my eye. So this really helps to lighten up that area. Now I'm going to take that same detail brush in the first day of Christmas and run it right underneath my eyebrow just to highlight that area right under the brow bone. This particular shadow color is really pretty. It's very, very pigmented and it has just the tiniest amount of sheen to it, which I think works well. For complexion, I'm going to be using an old favorite. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I love this foundation. It is so beautiful and gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. It's just a little bit hard to find lately, but I do have some Flower Beauty news. Flower Beauty has actually added me to their PR list, so I got a big bunch of Flower Beauty new products in a couple of days ago, and there was a little handwritten card in there, and it says, now available at CVS. So I think, oh my gosh, that's great. I haven't been in a CVS in a long time. I know that Flower Beauty used to be in Walmarts. I haven't seen them in Walmarts and I was actually in a Walmart, oh gosh, about six months ago and one of the clerks there was removing all the Flower Beauty products and replacing it with something else. And I said, oh no, are you guys getting rid of it? And she says, I don't really know, but I know I have to take the Flower Beauty down. So maybe Flower Beauty has just done a new contract with CVS, which would be great for us because it makes it you know, nice and accessible. Lately, I've just had to buy Flower Beauty off the website because I haven't been able to really find it anywhere. So if you see Flower Beauty in a CVS near you, let me know. I haven't used this foundation in, gosh, probably six or seven months. I do really love it though. It probably is one of my all-time favorite foundations. It's a medium coverage. It's probably a little bit thicker than some of the foundations I've been using lately, but it does give just the most beautiful, subtle glow. When they say light illusion, they're not kidding. It really does add the sense of light to your skin. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to be getting some snow in the next day or two. I actually was scheduled to go for a hike today and the weather came in overnight. It was like a frosty mix and snow and stuff. So <laughs> we all canceled the hike and I can see the clouds coming over the mountains. Nothing really yet, but I'm hoping that we're going to get some weather soon. I just like the cozy feeling of it being cold outside and maybe snowing and I'm inside all bundled up and I'm looking forward to that. Isn't that just a pretty finish on the skin? Today I'm using the Zellens Concealer. I like this concealer, not a fan of the delivery system. I wish that they would just do a doe foot applicator. I never seem to be able to get the right amount of product on my skin. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush and just blend that in. Now I'm gonna take my Revolution Hydrate and Fix, spray a little bit on my sponge, and then I'm just gonna tap that really lightly underneath my eyes. I'm going to set my under eyes with the number 7 Lift and Luminate Powder. This brush is from Sigma Beauty. This is from the Rose Gold Holiday Collection. I like it for my under eyes because the brush is just really soft and really kind of almost floppy. So it lays down that powder in a really soft way. Then back in with that blending sponge and just tap that in. I really do like this concealer. I just don't know if I like it more than some drugstore concealers. I'm really, really working through this whole concealer issue. I know that I do like wearing concealer, even though it's tougher with the texture underneath my eyes because I like the brightening and covering up the dark circles. 
I just haven't found a concealer that I can say, oh, I'm over the moon about this particular one, but I'll keep you guys posted if that should change. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Thrive. This is their Blur and Sculpt, and this is in the color Rhea. Just a little bit on my e.l.f. tapered brush. I love this brush for bronzer application. It has that nice little tip so I can get it into the detail areas, and then it's nice and fluffy so then I can blend it in. There's two blush colors in this palette, and I'm not sure which one I want to use. The first one is Pink Poinsettia, and the other is Santa Baby. Here, let me go ahead and swatch those, and let's take a look at them. So this is Pink Poinsettia, and this is Santa Baby. I don't know which one do you guys think. I think I want to go for Pink Poinsettia, just because I'm going for a very pink look today. I'm going to use it very softly, though, because I imagine it's going to be pretty pigmented. Just a little bit on my Real Techniques brush and then lightly onto the cheeks. Oh gosh, I love that, so pretty. Wow. Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just blend that in. I'm loving that color. So, such a fresh pink. You know what I wanna do? I wanna put a little bit of that on my eyelid, so I'm gonna get some on my finger. I'm just gonna tap it on the outside third of my movable lid. Oh, I like that. For a highlighter today, I'm going to be using one of my favorite products of 2020. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. This is at a drugstore price and it is so, so good and it's so much fun for me to work with. It comes out in a very thick serum and then just a little bit. This is way too much. I've got way too much on my hand. Just a little tap on my finger and then right up in that upstairs area of my cheek, kind of over that blush area. And then I always like to bring some down onto the front of my cheeks. Isn't that just the prettiest glow? This is such a fun product to play with. You can do so many things with this product. You can put it down before your foundation to give you an all over glow. You can use it as a highlighter. I would use it as a lid topper. Really just a great, fun, glowy product. I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna set right down the middle of my face. Very, very lightly. Then I like to take a sponge and just press that in. Now I'm gonna take that same setting spray, the Revolution Hydrate and Fix, and just set down that complexion. For eyeliner today, I'm gonna to take a very, very thin angled brush, and I'm just gonna dip it into that colored Scrooge that I used to darken up that outside corner of the eye. And I'm just gonna press that along my lash line. I just want a real subtle eyeliner look today, and this should do the trick. To tight line, I'm gonna use the Lay Liner from L'Oreal. This is a new to me pencil. I'm really, really loving it. It is an automatic pencil, and this is in the color Noir Cashmere. It's almost a dark, smoky gray. At least that's what it looks like to me. It doesn't look like jet black. And I'm just gonna run that right underneath the lash line and really fill in in between each one of those lashes. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Stila Huge Mascara. This is shaping up to be one of my favorite mascaras for the whole year. It's really lengthening, really volumizing. It just gives me these dramatic lashes. For lips today, I'm gonna to be using two products from LA Girl, the lip liner in the color Pinky and the lip gloss in the color Flourish. If you haven't tried these LA Girl lip glosses, they are so good. They are my favorite lip glosses. Beautiful colors, they feel great on the lips, they're lasting, I just really, really love them. There's the lip liner on its own. And here's the lip gloss. Here we have the finished look. Oh my gosh, this has been another really fun makeup day. I loved so many of the products today. This Too Faced Enchanted Dream Palette is just wonderful. I'm so loving the color story. The formulas were beautiful. They blended in beautifully. All the colors I used were delicious. I love the two blush colors here at the bottom. Everything about this palette, I'm really, really a fan of. It was so fun to finally get to put together a look with it today. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, love it just as much as I used to. It is a beautiful foundation. It gives a nice subtle glow to the skin. It's so affordable and it's exciting now that apparently the Flower Beauty line is gonna be available at CVS. Excited about the new developments with this great company. 
The L'Oreal Lumi Lotion is such a fun product to use. I have had this, gosh, for several months and it sat in my makeup bin for a while before I used it. Every time I brought it out to add to a makeup look, I have absolutely loved it. It is fun. It is affordable. There's a ton of product in here. I imagine this is going to last me at least another year. So really a fan of the Lumi Lotion from L'Oreal. And the Stila Huge Mascara never disappoints. Can you get over my eyelashes today? This is two coats with this mascara. I really am a fan. If you want dramatic lashes, I can tell you this is a quick way to get there. I'm so happy you could join me for day two of seven days of holiday beauty. I hope you found this fun and enjoyable. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 Woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just thrills me when you stop by, and it's especially wonderful for this holiday week. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 Woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.